ang lahat ay natutuwa or some are happy because it is April and that means he is going back home temporarily and coming back home temporarily so that's why a lot of faces are happy tuwa-tuwa sila dahil na April na excited excited to go home and by the way, Christians are always excited to go home. Their Amen. final home. Amen. Our home, our final home is in heaven. Amen. I hear that a song always played in our local church. My home is in heaven. That's what we are looking for. Jesus is preparing our house, our mansion in heaven. And I believe it's already done and we are just... He is just waiting for us to go there. So, at tayo po ay magtuloy sa ating pag-aaral. We will continue. The topic today is cause and effect of suffering. People don't like to suffer, as I do. But the reality is suffering is inevitable. It is a reality in our time. Nowadays, as what I preached last week, suffering is, even there is technological advancement in medicine, in wherever it is, suffering is, keeps on growing. To continue our series, our team of demand suffering in Christ for us Christians this is not to avoid suffer, suffering but to understand the suffering that we have and from suffering we can understand that there is a blessed hope from our sovereign God uh, uh, out of that su suffering Today, we will discuss about the cause and effect of suffering. Why there is suffering? And what is the cause and the effect of suffering? So we will go in, in, uh, in a general overview which is foundational. Of course, thank you for the songs we have just sing, so, some. Uh, because it reminds us that there is someone who suffered for us. So, to have a proper perspective of our biblical worldview in relation to prevailing suffering in our society, in our world, para po maintindihan natin, kung mayroon tayong tamang konsepto or pananaw tungkol sa patuloy na paghihirap sa ating susidad at sa mundong ito, Mainam po na meron tayong biblical worldview. We have a proper biblical worldview about the suffering. So let us start how God created all things and human beings without suffering. So let us bow our heads and let us pray. <coughs> Father in heaven, Thank you for this day. We worship you through the hearing of your words. Let it be that our minds, our hearts, willingly receiving, or open our minds, our hearts, that we may receive your words, your powerful words that give us understanding for the realities of life. And we will look to thy grace given to us through the preaching of your words. And that we may see the glory of Christ, our Savior and our Lord. That we will walk according to what you have taught us. And Lord, let it be that thy Holy Spirit give us understanding. Teach us the things about you, the truths of your words. This is all we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 
So that is our So let us look again as we just recently read our Bible Genesis So sa aklat ng Genesis we see that how God created all things it was very very good So we will not read all that verses but rather we need just to look some of, of them now in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 one of my favorite verse I hope it is your favorite verse as well so Christians should never all never forget Genesis 1 1 and we should not neglect it and we should understand it carefully properly tama po dapat ang ating pagkaintindi sa Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 mula po dito from here we will have a proper stand belief based on Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 so in relation to our topic cause and effect of suffering we'll start in the book of Genesis and then we will go further. Now in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 it says in ESB version In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Sa pasimula ay ginawa ng Diyos ang langit at ang lupa or ang kalangitan at ang lupa. Now in this verse the Bible does not suggest that there is God but rather, it declares there is God. So why it is important, bakit mahalaga sa ating kaunawan, why it is important to address or to state or to declare that there is God? Because of these sufferings, we need to have a fixed reference. We need to understand that we should have someone to rely on about these this sufferings we have for the cause and the effect of suffering. So, in 1905, if I am not mis if I if my memory is still serving right, uh, there is a renowned scientist. I forgot his name. Uh, in any discoveries. Sabi nila, they told that there should be what? There should be time, space, matter, what else? Power or energy. Okay? So, kailangan pong mayroong panahon, lugar, uh, energia, at saka bagay in every invention and every scientist believe affirm to that now in the beginning god in the beginning that is time god the powerful god the energetic god is there and there is heaven and earth that's the matter as well as the space so even the renowned scientists believe that there is or declare that there is god they don't know it personally, but there is God. And in the last chapter, uh, in the last verse in Genesis chapter 1, if we'll go in our, read our Bible. So God created the heaven and the earth in the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day. He created all things. Even man and woman. But we need to look at in Genesis chapter 1 verse 38. So, sorry, it's 31. And God saw everything he had made and behold, it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning in the sixth day. So, the Bible is clear that God created everything is very good. There is no suffering, there is no chaos, 
everything is with rigor. That was on the 6D. Now, if you will go back to verse 26, in the same chapter, we can read, mapapasa natin, we, we can read it, in verse 26, this is how God specially crafted or created who? This is Adam or the human being. Special. Special ang pagkagawa sa kanila. They are special. It is handmade, customized, made by the Lord. Not like the, not like the things that we need. Things come up. But here, we see that God crafted it. That's why some of you may be dreaming for, for a car. Uh, this car is custom built. It is built by someone. That's why uh, I like uh, one of the brand. They can do a custom. They can customize uh, what they call this car. Whatever you want, they will customize based on what you need. But here in verse 26, we can read. Then God said, Let us make man in our own image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the face of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Then we'll go further, verse 20. Uh, seven, so God created man in his own image, in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Lastly, in verse 28, and God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the face of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves all on the earth. So let us pause for a while that we are crafted not for the sake of crafting. We are made by God not for the sake of just He made us. We are made. What? So God created man in his own image. So we are the image bearer of, of God. That's why we value life. Because God gave us life. And that's why in our study, it is important for us to understand if any suffering is because of the, the sin of people, of a person. Let us look uh, in detail, chapter 2, verse 7. This is the detail how God made a man. In verse 7 it says, Then the Lord God, actually the Lord God introduced in chapter 2, not in chapter 1. In, in Genesis chapter 1, it is used always Yahweh. It's always used the word in Hebrew is Elohim. But here in chapter 2, it started, what? Lord God. It is God or God started a relationship with man. That's why it says Lord God. Now in verse 7 it says then then the Lord God formed a man, a uh, formed a man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils and breath of life and the man become a living a living creature in his being and in some other translation a living 
soul. Look at, think about that. How precious man or human in the sight, in the heart of God. That's why if someone, oh, I have pity of this man, he was dead. It's not just because you have pity of a people, because we are the image bearer. God has the pity of someone who is. So we have that, we share that, that kind of sympathy. So that is, now that is how God focuses in His entire creation. He focuses in human. In Adam and Eve. Siya ay gumawa ng lahat ng bagay pero nakapokus siya doon sa sa tao. Let us look 139 verse 14 of of Psalms. Did you ever think that how you are wonderfully and fearfully made? Did you ever think that why our nails goes to our hands and foot? Even the scientists, they are just giving their theories. But it happens because God is fearfully, wonderfully made you, made us. There is someone who made us. There is a genius God who made us. I'll just read for you verse 14 in chapter 139. Now, Salmi said, I praise you. He is referring to Yahweh. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. <clears throat> ano ibig sabihin niya? God made us not just by chance or by Big Bang that these people, these skeptics keep on seeing that we are made from uh, different causes and it forms and it have a Big Bang and now it becomes we from the monkeys. And some of the Christians, they, saw, they, they believe they are Christians, but believe that one. I usually read some article or watch some, some research. If you can, I always told you to go to creation.com. Think about this. Who likes to eat shawarma? Of course, most of us, I like some baryanis, Chinese foods, whatever food we have. Normally, we eat a lot of, but from what, what, from what we eat, we have that kind of calcium. We have all teeth the same, white. Why it comes like that, not become red, not become blue, not become... Now they are saying that that human is from simple to and becomes complex. From the very beginning, even the monkey is very complex. So what's the point? The point is we need to understand that the God of the Bible his very purpose of his creation is not to suffer. I hope you understand it. I just read that during the process when we eat, it is digested in our stomach to our intestine and it produces some energy, goes to wherever it is. And from amino acid, it will go to protein. And from amino acid, it will go to 
calcium and even the science does not understand how it happens and they are saying us that oh you should believe that you are came from the monkey but even they don't understand what they are saying now one of the scientists they told us that we came from sim simple to complex no need for us to be a scientist to argue with them Just can you prove it to me that we can, we came from simple to complex what is your illustration he could not even give and give him immediately an illustration from, from a complex one just tell him just can you look at my eyes huh? look at my eyes how it moves you know it is a complex to move your finger it's a complex thing this one see i'm talking to you but it's moving it's not simple there are so called neuro surgeon whatever it is it is not linked by the the mere uh, muscle it is a complex how our nails comes to our uh, exactly in the nails that's why if you have nails in your nose it's a big problem <laughs> Yes. So God made us especially, and we need to think about it. It is important of our study today. That's why I am, I am giving you or putting us in a proper perspective. Then go back to 119 of Psalms. So I think Psalms we read it last year, but we'll read it uh, this year again. Psalms 73 ah uh, sorry chapter 19 verse 73 for your information Psalms 119 is the longest chapter of the Bible and it is the the, the center of the Bible chapter 19 is the center of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation So I hope you will believe me. If you don't believe, just start counting, and you will find it. Yeah, it is correct. And precisely, I think it is chapter 19, verse 18 is the center chapter and verse. If you don't believe again, start counting it, and if it is wrong, we will count it together. 119 verse 73. I will read for you in ESV version. Your hands. Have have made and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. It is God. In the very beginning, in Harden of Eden, God created us, fashioned us, and He is so great in wisdom, genius, that when He made us, He will multiply us by means of merit. That's why Adam knew Eve and bore Abel. So we are created by God, by the Triune God, wonderfully, fearfully, specialized, customized for Him and for His glory. Now, when we go to chapter two, verse three. Again, we are leaving chapter one. We are going to chapter two. In verse three, so God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because because on it God rested from all His work that He had done in creation. So after God did His creation, He rested in the seventh day. So what does it uh, relates in our topic? But just uh, let us just think about this. Now God rested. It does not mean He stopped still working. He stopped the creation, but still. He is still working, managing his creation. He is always supervising what happens. He is keep on looking them. 
That's why in chapter 5, verse 17, Jesus was asked, Why you are, you heal this man, a uh, sick man in the bed at the Sabbath day? Who are you? You are God. Only God can do that. Because anyone who does, who work in the Sabbath, he must be put to, to death. That is a penalty because God said, so Jesus said, my father is working until now and I am working. So the Jews understand that Jesus is claiming to be, to be God. Only God can do that. When Jesus said, my father is working and I am working, ah! You are blaspheming God. You are assuming you are God. Of course, He is God. Because there are a lot of false teaching about it. That's why we emphasize the importance of that. And another thing, in chapter 2 verse 3, Jesus or God instituted what? A time that people will what? Will rest and what? Eat, drink, marry, worship God. So we are fearfully, wonderfully handmade, created by God. For what? That we worship Him. That's why suffering starts up when we deliberately sin against the Holy, Holy, Holy God. And because He is a good God, He punished people who deliberately against his holy will in Exodus chapter 8 verse uh, sorry chapter 20 8 to 11 this is the Ten Commandments but God instituted that how he should be worshipped now there is additional uh, theological importance about Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 to 11 bakit? why? because people believe ang marami ay naniniwala na God created heaven and earth in 6 days and that is we don't know it, how many hours per day uh, but when we study it is 24 hours per day that is seven days a week. Because the Jewish people rested after six days. At the seventh day, they rested and they worshiped the Lord. Now people say, ah, 1,000 uh, years, that is one day in the Lord. So uh, after seven years, the Jewish people start worshiping the Lord. They are already out of the earth. So that is importance. Why we need to build our proper theological understanding about the importance of our topic. Now when we look back in chapter 2 verse 16 again in Genesis this is where God gave his what? His commandments. He gave the commandment to man. Because God is a righteous God, he gave a righteous commandment. Still not commandments that time, it is a commandment. Verse, we'll start in verse 16, chapter 2. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden. So God said, Kainin mo lahat na pwede mo makain na mga punong kahoy, any kind of uh, trees. You can eat it. That is what God said to, to who? To Adam. And verse 17, 
but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. In ESB, it uses the word surely. You shall surely. In Tagalog, it is siguradong ikaw ay mamamatay. Nagsasabi po ito na kapag ikaw ay nagkasala sa banal, banal na Diyos, siguradong ikaw ay mamamatay patay surely die that's the commandment God gave to man and a woman a command we'll jump in verse 21 in the same chapter so the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon a man because God aha Adam is very genius he put the names of every animals, every insects, everything, and every plant. How genius he is. Ah, this is Mingo, this is Indian Mingo, this is, uh, uh, this is Zebra, this is, uh, I, I, could, I can remember some, but not all. But to name of them, you are really a genius. Yes. Right? Yes. That's why we are image, uh, image bearer of God. We know how to think. We know we, we can create something. But the bad news is we are creating a lot of evil. And the good news is because of Christ. Now we are pursuing the holiness and the righteousness of God. Yes. Now see, so the Lord God caused deep sleep because God said, Oh, huh? Mr. Adam needs someone, not only a monkey, a chimpanzee. <laughs> He has a lion, he has a tiger, he has a cobra, king cobra, python. He needs some other more than these things. Elephant is not enough. <laughs> so the Lord, so the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And while he slept, took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. So God, shh, Adam, go to sleep. Why, Lord? Just go. You will be amazed. There is something big happen. What is that, Lord? It is my surprise to you because it is your birthday today. <laughs> I'll give you a surprise a gift. Oh, but God will not do that to God Irving. Because he has already a gift. But he is waiting for our gift, by the way. <laughs> so, here we go. Now, before we go, just some exercise. Just every man just fill his ribs. You have still ribs? Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing to go to all our fats. <laughs> but actually... We are missing ribs. I don't know. I don't forget it's left or in right. I could not feel it because I, you know, that's my problem now. I suffer for that. A lot of fats. <laughs> but even the scientists who don't believe God, there is a natural proof that there is God. Now here we go. Verse uh, 22, it says, and the rib that the Lord had taken from the man he made into a woman and brought her to the man. This is his gift. When Adam wake up, there is a woman. Then the man said, at last this is my bone of my bones the, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called Woman! Because she was taken out of man. He is shouting maybe, oh, Woman! This is my place of my place. Thank you, Lord. Think about how God cared for us. 
how he love us. And even after some time when we go to the suffering caused by us, he still love us that he gave his begotten son. And for us Christians, we understand that kind of suffering. And we have joy in them because there is a God who suffered for us. Now let us continue. That was happening in, her, in the Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden is one of the, the, the good uh, topic we can discuss. Uh, we discuss it uh, when we preach about in Genesis. Eden is signifies the fellowship, the, the union of, of man and God. And it will be happen after some time, chapter 21 we read last time, that, the, that God and man will be dwell together. Wow, I am so excited that will happen again. Now here we go in verse 3, chapter 3. It says, But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Now previously he said, Do not eat, lest you die. Now here, Do not uh, eat and touch it. Now when you start touching sin, mm, it smells good. It feels good. So I need this. So that is how starting. Now you know, as our uh, sa ating scripture reading kanina is, is started in our scripture reading started with the false teachers. That is one of why suffering flooded all over the world because of the false gospel, the false teaching. False teaching started where? It is Garden of Eden. The postmodernism started there. Garden of Eden. The liberalism started there. It is just magnified in our time. That's why the suffering started there. Not in any way around. See? We can see that in verse 4, just Satan made a twist. Just simple twist. Let us read our Bible. Tingnan po natin. Kapitulo 3, uh, 3, versikulo 4. It is chapter 3, verse 4. But the serpent said to the woman, You shall not surely die. God said, You shall surely die. God said, You shall surely die. But Satan just said, You shall not surely die. Simple twist. Just a simple word. Everyone suffers. And there is a question, why God, the good God, in that simple suffering, uh, in that simple disobedience, God punish all the human race? Is that the good God I should believe? Did you think about that? Naisipo ba natin yun? Did we think that in that simple we think, well, they eat, because they eat, God already punished them and even to their lineage. And even the nature is groaning, the suffering is up to the ground. Did we think about it? It is really a good God, a loving God, a gracious God. Yes, He is a holy God. He is a righteous God. He is a loving God. Let us look at carefully. Verse 4. But the serpent said to the woman, 
you shall not surely die. We'll continue. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the, the tree was good for food, and that it was delight on his eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave to her husband, uh, uh, with a husband who was with her, and ate. Let us just check again, verse 5. For God knows, uh, Satan said, you will not surely die. Because God knows, if you eat it, you will be like God. You will be invincible. You will be immortal. This is the entire of the world today. Ito yung, okay lang yan. You keep just going Facebook and you will be a good Christian. For us now, we will be always in eh, the face of Facebook. Before we go to the Facebook, we will have good time in face, uh, face of his book, but if there is time, yeah, Facebook. So that's the problem of us. Look at, we need to look at properly. See, the origin of the sin is the loss of the eyes. Let, let us examine verse 6. When the woman saw the tree that was good, I don't think so there is really good in the tree. I think the good is in the imagination. I think the tree is not just like glowing like the other tree. But the enticement is, is there. The, the, the twist is there. You will become like God. You become wise. And by that, they start thinking, ah, oh, really, yes, this fruit is very good because it will give me wise. I become like God. See, the loss of, an, of the eyes. A woman saw. That's why we Christians don't look at sin or else you will start seeing, ah, okay lang. Then, it was good for food. It is. They don't have. See, look at the problem there. When people are conv convinced, nung napaniwala na si ang babae na masarap ito, when the woman uh, believed that it is good for food, actually a lot of God said, eat whatever you want, a lot. And they are, they are the only two people on that Eden. And why they start, ah, this is good food. There is, there is more better food also. See, the twist. The, the conception of sin is there. That's why he is started believing. Now, it says there that the tree was good for food and it was a delight of the eyes. Now it becomes delight. Desire. Mayroon ang, ah, it is, you know, I could not sleep if I will not eat this kind of fruit. It's become a delight. That's why when my wife becoming pregnant, oh, don't ask me a lot, ah. This is just superstitious. Don't ask me to go in, in the mountain and get something. No, you go by yourself. <laughs> oh, because the baby will be full up if you don't give me this, give me this. No way. Stop dealing that. It is a superstitious. Of course, if there is really logical and, and correct, yeah, that's why we are encouraged to get married with a Christian. She always asks a husband, Riga, what is the will of our Lord? So the lust of the flesh. And then it says, the light of the eyes and that the tree was, we decide to make one wife. She took it. Desire the pride of life. Ah, I will be like God. I will be above anyone. Maybe above to my husband. 
Abali ba ida wihi gito. To idam. So still he is little bit submissive. But take note. That's the time sin enters in the world. The cause of suffering. Ang sanhi ng kahirapan ng mundong ito ay ang kasalanan. Suffering is sin. Sin is a deliberate is a deliberate willful against the will of God. It is a deliberate rebels again uh, it's a it's a rebel against the holy holy god now let us make it more little bit deep it is a blasphemy in god actually in that point of time woman and mr adam is saying you are not god who am I to follow you? But actually, they understand that God gave, that God made everything. He is a super powerful God. When we sin against God, it is a blasphemous. Ito po ay hayagang pag rebelde o pag alipusta sa banal, banal na Diyos. It is a flagrant deliberate sin against God. That's why God will not always condone sin. In a pro in, we as evangelical, or I always say that I'm a protestant, I protest the wrong teaching. We believe the Bible is clear, there is no such small sin and big sin. Sin is sin and God is God. Sin is always punishable by death in the in the face of our holy, holy, holy God. Now sin enters to the world and in the universe. We can read that. Start or go. We start in verse 7. I'll just read it for you. Then the eyes of both were open, and they knew that they were naked. And they, they sewed the fig leaves together and made themselves lying clothes. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cold of the day. And the man and his wife hide themselves from the presence of the Lord God and among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I hear the sound of you. Of you in the garden I was afraid because I was naked I hide myself he said who told you that you were naked have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat the man said the woman whom you have given me See, in the very beginning he is happy oh woman now the woman you have given me we are like Edom, by the way. We are always pointing someone if we are guilty of any trespasses and sins. The woman whom you have given to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree and ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me and I ate. And the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and above all beasts of the field, and your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. Fifteen. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between you, your offspring and your offspring. You shall browse your head, and you shall browse his head. The woman, he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. Now, God said, 
I will make you suffer when you share a child. Your desire shall be contrary. Uh, you will be contrary to your husband, but he shall rule over you. See, there is a chaotic problem in the family or in marriage. And Adam said, because you have listened to your voice or to the voice of your wife, and you have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Curse is the ground. Curse is the ground because you. Uh, because of you, in pain you shall eat of all the days of your life. Let us pause from there. Sin started and suffering started. Now the cause of suffering is sin. Suffering is the suffering is the pronouncement is the judgment of sin. God judge pinarusahan po ng Diyos ang kasalanan. God punish or give judgment, right judgment of what sin Adam and Eve done. They are punished. But think how God gave the pronouncement of of the of the punishment. God is walking in the cold of the day. You remember that? Yes. Why he walk? He can just said no. He just make mercy, and he called him in. Adam, where are you? For Adam to realize that I am now a sinner. Giving him an opportunity to Lord, I sin against you. But he started, oh, the woman. That's why we are rightly to be punished. Kaya kailangan lang po tayo parusahan sa ating mga kasalanan. Dahil lang po tayo ay nagmamahal sa kasalanan. We are rightly to be punished. But that's what happened. And even after some time, when God pronounced the judgment, He said, Serpent, listen to me. This is what you will do. You will crawl. And I will fight. I will, you will fight with the seed. Her offspring and your offspring. What is that? That is a prophecy of God the Father Himself. That what you have done is very wrong. Dapat kayong parusahan, pero ito, isasalba ko kayo. I will save you from my wrath. I will give you a Messiah, a Savior. Wow! That is the good news. The good news is there is suffering, but there is God who can take out us from that suffering. Praise the Lord. Yes. We'll come back in that verse later on. We'll proceed now. Romans chapter 5. Oh, sorry. After that, we'll, we'll not go that, uh, uh, we'll not go directly to that Romans chapter 5. We'll take a look that punishment happened. Then, verse 23, God drove them out in Garden of Eden. They are, and after that, what happened? In chapter 4, there is a manifestation of, demonstration of sin. Cain, he killed Abel. Chapter 5, chapter, and chapter 5, you will, we will see, that the death of Adam after 930 years now we'll see that because of sin people or Adam start to become that's why God said you will surely die 
That's why we will be died. We will be dead. First come, first go sometimes. Sometimes maybe I will be the first. Maybe you will be the first. Sometimes my, I keep on joking my father. My father, I hope we will see every time I go for vacation. Yeah, he, he said to me, yeah, because maybe I will be there. Ah, don't be so sure because maybe I will be the first who will die before you. And we agree for that. And we are sure that when we die, we will meet in heaven. And that's the beauty of the gospel in Christ. Now, it happens like that. Chapter 6, 120 years, boom. People will start diminishing. After the flood, sinners always leave. Noah lived 900, 950. And then after chapter 11, verse 7, God came down because people are very sick and wicked. There is a tower of Babel. And then up to Terah, Terah lived, the, Terah the father of Abraham or Abraham. He lived 205. Then if you will read, people are easily, and even in Psalms it says only up to 70. It's good if to become have 80. And now, I have my neighbor. Huh? What happened? Only 40 years old? Yes. What happened? Already dead. Why? Why? He loves a lot. <laughs> a lot of drinking, a lot of things. And even there is a contest, one of the province in somewhere, there is a contest who is the oldest man in the province. And they bring, ah, this guy, how old is he? Ah, uh, 85. Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, no one can, who is the next challenger? Ah, this man may be more than 85. Ah, uh, this one is 91. Oh, he is the next. Who oh, next? And there is one guy, they bring it. Ah, this is the winner. Itong taong to panalo. This is the winner because they see it. Maybe this guy is around 100. Then the guy started yelling, Ah, oh, why you bring me here? What happened? You are in the contest. Just uh, take relax. We, will, we are in the winning side. Why? What is the contest? Who is the oldest guy in our in our place? And the guy said, Who is the older? You? No. How old are you? I'm just 41. <laughs> because of a lot of vices, a lot of sin. I hope you are not 41 and looks like 100. That means we you need the grace of the Lord. Come into our conclusion. Because of sin. The cause of suffering is sin. God punishes sinners. Punish sin. Physically, they will die. Spiritually, they are dead. They are thrown out in hardening of Eden. And even as brother read us in a while ago, that because of our trespasses and sins, we are dead. In Romans chapter 8, verse 19 to 21, the animal kingdom, the nature, they are groaning. Let us read that verse. This is we are almost, we, we, we need to look at this carefully. Romans chapter 8, verse we we'll start in 19, it says here, For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subject to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope. That the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. See? That is how sin is grave misconduct in the sight of the holy, holy, holy God. We need to go to chapter 5. 
of uh, Romans chapter 5 we look at in verse 12 and 14 therefore just as sin came into the world through one man and death through sin and so death is spread to all men because all have sin so ang kasalanan ay pumasok sa sanlibutan sa isa mula sa isang tao ito ay kay Adan o ito kay kan iba so that is how sin entered but verse 14 it says uh, 13 for sin indeed was in the world before the law was given but sin is not counted where there is no law yet death reigned from Adam to Moses even over whose, whose sinning was not like the transgression of Adam who was the type of the one who was to come now that is clear that because of sin dahilan po sa kasalanan because of sin that's why I told last week this earth is not safe place for us to live anyone just heard the recent news about a spokesman of Donald Trump anyone heard that one they will spend 700 billion dollars for their for their what for their upgrading of their armaments of their nuclear capabilities 700 billion and the, 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 the spokesman said our weapon will be sophisticated ready to fight to defend our homeland and even our allies because Putin is, is making uh, like uh, barking that uh, our, uh, my new missile will hit uh, America see 700 billion but a lot of people they don't have even food to eat don't go to America they are the first target of nuclear missile and a lot of people they don't even have food but is spending this a lot of money because of sin because of greediness because of people sin death for the wages of sin is death <coughs> all uh, have sinned and come full short from the glory of God and the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life now let us look little time about death sin death we need to understand what is death we are talking about ano ba itong kamatayan na ating pinag-uusapan wages of sin is death there is a second death said in Revelation chapter 20 verse 14 this is the second death where people God ilalagay po ng Diyos ang mga taong makasalanan doon sa imperno God will put uh, people who does not believe him or sinners people in death uh, in hell they are conscious sila po ay nakakapag-isip they know what they are doing but they are tormented in hell that is death it says in Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 death it is a separation of God and man death that is a place where people are eternally punished because of their sins in hell ito po ay parusa sa mga taong ayaw manapataya kay Jesus patuloy sa kanilang kasalanan sila po ay paparusahan doon sa imperno habang buhay hell that is the place where the gloom or the gloomy darkness people there that is death hell is outer darkness Matthew chapter 8 verse 12 it is a place with, which is dark you could not see but you can feel the agony hell is where the worm continuously eat a people who are there 
Ito yung mayroong bulati or worm. Ano ba sa Tagalog? Uod. Mayroong uod. Worm uod. Patuloy na kinakain, kinakagat ang tao doon sa imperno. That is death. That is death in hell. That's why Jesus preaching about the kingdom of God. There is a suffering really to come. And the cause of that is sin. We studied last time about the moral sin. Our problem is the moral evil. I have a moral evil in my heart. That is, uh, uh, hell is, is a place where worm is there. I don't know what kind of worm is there or uod na hindi na mamatay sa isang klase ng apoy na hindi na nauubos. A worm that will not be dead, even this unquenchable fire. Mark chapter 9 verse 47 and 48. That is, we will study hell and heaven in our doctrinal stand, but now, that is, God will punish sinners in hell. And sin is the cause of death. Cause of suffering. Now it says there, but the gift of God is eternal life. We us look again chapter 5 verse uh, verse 18 to 21 it says there Therefore, as one trespasses lead to condemnation for all men, so one act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all men. For as by one man's disobedience the many were made sinners, so by the one man's disobedience the many will be made righteous. Verse 20, Now the law came in the in into increase that trespasses, but where is sin increased, grace abounded all the more. So that as sin reigned in death, grace also might reign through righteousness, leading to eternal life through Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord. Mayroon po kaparusahan sa kasalanan. Sa, dahil sa kasalanan ng isang tao, ngunit sa isang tao kay Kristo, mapapawalang sala ang sino man manampalataya kay Kristo. Maglagap ng kanyang tiwala. Because of one man's sin, we will be all dead. But because of one man's obedience, righteousness, we will be free from the bondage of sin. We will be free from the condemnation. We will be free from eternal suffering to come. And that is the good news. And that is, we have glory in Christ. That's why we sing by faith alone in Christ alone. For the glory of God alone. Wow. We praise the Lord for the preaching of His word. Let us look about eternal life. Eternal life, it is not just the length of life. You are with me? Ang habang buhay, ang buhay na walang hanggan, ay hindi ito ang klase ng buhay na hindi na uubos. Or hindi, ito yung buhay na walang katapusan. It's not talk about that. Because eternal, of course, this is eternal. But this is the quality of life. The best quality of life that we can have in Christ. We have mm, we have not good quality life now, but later we have the best quality life. Eternal life is the best quality life in Jesus, with Jesus, throughout in Jesus. Wow! That's the good news. We have that quality of life. In, in, in Philippians chapter 3 verse 20, our citizenship is in heaven, which we are waiting our Lord and Savior. Ang ating, ang ating uh, citizen, 
ay tayo po mga naniniwa, mga nanampalatay kay Kristo, tayo yung mga tagal langit. Even in verse 21, Philippians chapter 3 verse 21, we will have that kind of body like Christ. If Paul said, it is uncorruptible body, not a lowly body. This is a glorified body suited to live in heaven, suited to live with our God. Ito ang klase ng, ng katawan na kaya nating mabuhay kasama ang Diyos. We can see God face to face when we have a new body which is incorruptible. But anyway, I always keep on preaching, I am so excited to be like Superman. You know why? Jesus, uh, Paul said in, in, in chapter 3 verse 21 of Philippians, our body will be like Jesus. When Jesus ascended, kung nung pumunta po si Jesus sa heaven, ano ginawa niya? Just, peace be with you. He is just flying. That is the body we have later on, brothers and sisters. Are you excited? Good, I like that answer. Very, very excited. Because God made us very good. He has provided us a very good life, eternal life. Let us look a lot of verses, but I need to wrap up like this. In Hebrew chapter 11, verse 10. Because our, we are running out of time. But look at this. Hebrew chapter 10. Verse, uh, sorry, chapter 11. We'll start in verse 10. Chapter 11. We'll start in verse 10. This is what it says. For he was looking forward to the city that has foundation, whose designer and builder is God. So all the, the heroes of faith are looking for a city. That's why I have no interest to go to America or any migration. I am anticipating that city whose designer and builder is God. Wow! That is perfect city. We'll continue to read. Therefore, from one man and him as good as dead, were born descendants as many as the stars of heaven, as, as many as the immeasurable grains of sun by the seashore. We'll go jump directly in verse 16. But as it is, they desire a bitter country that is a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for He has prepared for them a city. Wow! That is what we are waiting for. We suffered because of our sin in a, in a level we don't understand sometimes things. But thank to the Lord, the root of suffering is sin. Now we as Christian, we need to think these things. Are you suffering? Ikaw po ba ay nahihirapan? If you are suffering of sin, then come to Jesus, repent of your sins, and put your trust in Christ. Are you suffering if sin always trying your best uh, you are suffering of sin and trying your best to get out from sin and you will end up nothing you will be dead in hell but rather humble yourselves to come to the Lord Jesus in faith are you suffering? yes I do I am suffering the influence of sin but by the grace of of God, through His words, I keep up knowing my Christ through His words. Living the words of my Christ that I will be free from any influence of sin. I am free from the bondage of sin because of Christ. 
suffering. I thank the Lord for that suffering. That one day I will not suffer anymore because of the suffering of Christ. We need to keep on preaching, telling people that there is really a reality of suffering, but there is a reality to, to come out what that suffering, the suffering caused by sin and the effect is death. We need to start looking at to that city. While looking to that city, we need to look our neighbors, our loved ones who are tormented by sin and they soon become dead. Two things I need you to remember. There is two kinds of people. One, people, they are, they are born twice, but they will be dead once. There are a kind of people they will be born once, but they will do it twice. Where are you in this kind of people? Christians, they are born twice, physically and spiritually born again. They will do it once. They will die on just in the flesh. But the other people are, they are born once, but they will be dead twice, physically and spiritually. Think about this and ponder these words. Yes, we will suffer for a while, but don't let that you will suffer for eternity because of your sin. Come to Jesus. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for the words. Thank you for giving Jesus. Thank you that we know that the cause of suffering is sin. Because of sin, we will be dead. Because of sin, you punish us and even the nature are under the punishment groaning. But praise be to your name. Father, thank you for your grace that you will not allow us to go to hell tormented forever. Jesus, thank you. Dahil lang po sa iyong pag-ako sa kasalanan, you are the substitute of our of the suffering of the wrath of sins we have. Thank you that you willingly redeem us, ransom us from the wrath of sin. And me, the preaching of your words will continue cause us to grow deeper knowledge, deeper faith, love, hope in Christ. This is all we pray in your name, Jesus. Amen.